and right. then driver's side doesn't. Gotcha. Oh, now they do. Yeah, it takes a while for it to uh, heat up and register. I'm running here and knock out this swim, okay? We gotta hurry up and get our swim on because uh, it's been an hour and 10 minutes in traffic and it was supposed to be uh, 30 minutes or less. And there was a semi broke down in the middle of the road that was being towed and we had to look at it. Good, how you doing? to the pool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. All right, I got a pretty good start. Got 100 meters. Got a personal best, 140. Let's keep going. tip is short and sweet. So take your hand and push off. Take your left hand and push off the wall and your left foot and push off the wall. Do that back and forth. That will save time. Alright, we got a PB tonight. We got 39 minutes, 1800, 217, 218 pace, right around there. Um, just phenomenal swim. Just Everything was just flowing really good. Sometimes you get those good workouts where everything just like flows really good. Um, technical tip, like I was saying, uh, briefly in the pool, just push off the wall with your left side. Use your left leg and your left hand and just push off and just be streamlined with the water. You know, definitely try to stay on top. If you can kind of imagine like you're a boat for a second, and anybody that's ever been on a boat, you definitely get on top of the plane. They call the water like the plane. You get the boat up out of the water and kind of on top of the water. They call it the getting the boat on top of the plane. Same thing with your body to make your body streamline with the water. Kind of get up out of the water and then just go. You got a little bit of a, of a wake in front of you that you're pushing you know, to the side. And that just makes the swim that much better and that much easier if you will because when it comes to swimming it's going to be less like impact on your body and you want to be all your strokes your kicks you want it to be simultaneous really. you want it to just kind of work like a weld machine so like uh, I can't brag on the swim I know I'm getting close to uh, race day which is going to be on Saturday I'm going to shoot for 7, 8 o'clock. I'm not quite sure how the schedule is going to play out because I definitely want to do, you know, 40 minutes on the swim. I want to do three hours or less on the bike, and then I want to do the two-hour two hour run. So that's my goal for the Ironman. So it will definitely be a half Ironman, 70.3, Saturday between 7 and 8. I'm going to push for 7, you know, try to get up early, get it going, you know, get it knocked out. Because the YMCA opens up at 7, so if I could be there, first one in the pool, and just knock it out, that will be my goal. So, tonight, we got to get everything pulled out, get it ready. Uh, tomorrow will be just probably a quick little um, tune-up on the bike, make sure the bike gears are shifting, everything's going good. Spend about 15 minutes or so on doing that. And then I definitely got to mark the course tonight for the run in my neighborhood because I want to do two loops, uh, 6.5, you know, seven seven mile loops roughly, um, or do two six mile loops and then finish up, you know, the last mile around my circle uh, where my house is at. That's that's exactly a it's a half a mile, so two loops make a mile, so make it the 13, you know, point one for the 70.3. So that's the goal. 
Uh, got a lot going on in the next couple of days. Uh, tonight, when we get home, we got to put on the new uh, Continental 5000s that I just got on my triathlon bike. That's the one I'm going to be using. I will have a backup. You know, just you just never know if something's going to happen on a race. I will have a backup. I'll have a uh, a help team, if you will, like a SAG, they call it. Um, you know, someone to assist me, you know, during my race while I'm cycling. So if I need to call, you know, get a tube, you know, get some help, you know, whatever it may be, I'll have someone support me with that on the bike part of it. The swim I got, the run I got, the bike, I'll kind of be out, you know, in the middle of nowhere doing the bike. So definitely good to have support on that. Uh, have a, a backup bike, if you will, my road bike. I can jump on that and finish it up if need be. If something, you know, drastic were to happen. Or if it's just quicker to, you know, jump on the road bike instead of changing a tire or, or whatever. But new tubes, new tires, so that should be solid. So let's go to the house and we got to get those new tires installed. I can't wait. You almost forgot I got to get gas. My favorite part of my day is getting gas.
one down and one to go. So these are the Continental 5000s I was talking about in a video a few days ago. So I'm going through my bike, checking everything, making sure everything is good and tight. So now we got one more to go. So let's get at it. So that wraps up the video. Uh, we got a swim done, got the triathlon bike ready to go for the race on Saturday, got new tires on it, made a couple adjustments to the handlebars. Tomorrow night, I will go over uh, post-race stuff, things that you need for the race. So I'll be doing a video on that, and then we will start the race Saturday morning early so I'm pretty excited about it so knocked the swim out got the bike going and everything else kind of just come together I was pretty pleased with it so that's really all I got tomorrow is a new day in that right lemon tomorrow's a new day so we will see you guys in the next video. I can't wait. There's only two more videos left. Friday and race day. So, and then I'll probably do a little tune-up on the bike, like I said. So, tune-up on the bike for about 15 minutes or so. So, we will talk to you tomorrow. Uh, happy Thursday. Have a good night. See you waving bye.